All right, I am back from my weekend getaway. It is Sunday evening, almost 11 p.m. In four minutes, it's gonna be midnight, Greenwich Mean Time Zone. So in four minutes, it's gonna be day change. Uh, a lot has happened and a lot has not uh, happened. Serbia has not moved since Friday. He's driving me crazy. Also, this artillery, he just moved it to take out the two reconnaissance units over here. That's it. All his units are still in the same place, but only that, he's now inactive and if i go to the newspaper and i scroll all the way down then you're gonna see that there's only three players here left in the game two who already requested to end this game so we're just waiting for one player to end the game however the game will finish with the current scores and ranks as there's only three of us left we should make a coalition and it's a win-win for everyone so far there has been no reaction as serbia attacked croatia over here i had to move my units to the border to attack romania which I did. However, all of a sudden Greece started attacking too while he was already at war for six days. Now I understand better because I've learned something on the mobile version. You can actually see the province retainment and the kill death ratio of a player which is pretty interesting and honestly all the players that joined this game they are mediocre at best. Those are all players that are not active enough or their stats are not good enough to survive it on a big map. So they play these maps here so they can bash their beginners just like is happening on the Clash of Nations map in Call of War, I guess. I've already moved my planes over here so that I have all of Greece in my range to seize the next target. Originally, I wanted to take Croatia over here, move to Serbia, and then I could surprise Greece over here while he couldn't counterattack me because Romania was still over here. Now, the backup plan would have been moving my artillery over here and the other stack I want it uh, moved over here. From these two locations, I can easily prevent all this region over here. I have now six tanks, six infantry i also started to produce more infantry for infantry and next up are for artillery and i'm also upgrading my artillery in the research level three my motorized infantry is also level three mechanized infantry is level two my combat recon vehicle and main battle tank level two artillery going to level three planes level two i've been hesitating to make a navy to stop the uk and us but they have a lot of head start i was thinking about subs but this is all shallow water over here almost only this over here the deep blue is deep water and well subs are not good in shallow water naval bombers i can only use them when i'm online so i'm thinking like i'm not gonna make a navy at all let's just focus on land units if they attack me i can counter attack however i don't even know if an attack is gonna be coming because they're both quite inactive as well so i had a lot of plans but i don't know what's going to happen with my plans because nothing much is happening in this game anyways the next day so we're day 14 now no clue if greece is active or not let's set the plan in motion right those both are selected let's send them over here there we go beautiful take seven hours that's good i'm gonna put this artillery stack maybe here a bit more central just in case that grease is active and counter attacks and then this i'm gonna keep it like this i guess because it's still in the chance for revolts and there's definitely units over here if he's counter attacking i can still move out but i think that grease is not active and I'm taking a risk because if I attack Greece and UK lands up here in North, I'm gonna be screwed. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed about this game because it drags on. Little to no action and activity. I'm asking myself the question, why I do even bother at all, you know? At least I can use the Belgrade airbase because yesterday AI Croatia counter-attacked with the infantry here in Belgrade and he locked these bombers in battle, lost half of the health. I always say keep your planes on patrol, man. It's not difficult. In this case, it was good that his planes were on the ground because otherwise the AI would have been able to capture his capital and I would not have been able to use the airbase. And it's level 4, man. So that's really interesting for me. So now at least I have my planes close by and I want to attack Greece. Then again, He's probably AI. I don't know, man. The game is so weird. Why can't I see who is AI? And if you conquer a country, why are their names still over there? Not only that, but they are still in the 
Diplomacy list. Go all the way down. Hungary is off the map. Poland is off the map. Germany is off the map. But somehow I'm still at war with them. It's pretty weird, man. I don't know. But when I click on my profile, it says only in war with France and Romania. Weird, right? There are so many things that I don't get about this game. But I guess I'm doing pretty well under the circumstances. The next morning. All right, we are 10 hours into day 14. Let's attack Greece because he messaged me and he is active together with the US. US. So we're gonna attack. Okay, let's go. This one we're gonna send it to Thessaloniki. Opa. And then uh, this one over here we're gonna send it to Skopje. There's two units in here. At target Tirana is empty. One infantry unit and a one armor unit. It doesn't matter because I have three armors, three infantry and a one scout unit. So I'm gonna wreck whatever is in Skopje. Let's take down his economy. I shouldn't say too long marches, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, by the sea. Oh, no, you don't. We're gonna wait because Greece has a navy. So the last thing we want to do is uh, go at sea. I'm also pulling back now my units because, well, it's more easy to defend over here as the passage is narrow. On top of it, there's this Virs province over here where you need to pass completely around there's no passage which kind of blocks the way so i can just stop the enemy over here and here in these two provinces and then they're obligated to pass around actually to go over here so if i put units here as well i can defend this pretty easily if i'm active and i'm gonna be active man i'm gonna be very active because i'm uh, off for two days because i have to write a paper of 10 pages in french as i want to apply to university for a second degree and i need to write in french it's not my mother tongue so it's gonna be very difficult but it's fine we're gonna be able to do it study in french that should be interesting okay so that is set uh I'm gonna declare war. That's also a very good idea now. That popularity is important. There we go. Let's attack Greece. And then I'm gonna patrol over my uh, units. But I don't want to patrol over enemy units. I just want to protect my own units, you know. Now this one, we're gonna send it back to the region where are my artillery stacks. Because also those I want to protect, of course. There we go. In my knowledge, Greece only has a two level one fighters. I have six level two fighters, so I should be fine. I'm attacking Greece because, well, he messaged me that he is playing to together with the US. US wants to work together is okay to make an alliance. No communication came from Greece. However, he's just said, yeah, I'm active, but he has no interest to form a coalition to have co coalition victory because he wants a solo victory, but I'm not a pushover. Nope. If he thinks he's gonna have a victory, he's gonna work for it hard. It's a win-win situation. I'm gonna have finally some action and good content and Greece might have a chance to get us a victory so we're gonna see what happens right and actually what I should do is I should send my artillery over here maybe so whatever is in Skopje I can attack it so that whatever is in Graiova I can attack it and then this one over here we're gonna send the infantry there perfect uh, block the passages here i've got two infantry this one where is this one standing it's a bit in the middle of nowhere no over here you must go thank you and actually i should send them over here because infantry get a 25 percent attack penalty in the mountains let's send them over here so i don't get a penalty that's better then this one should be better over here got it artillery i'm gonna send it maybe over here that they're closer to guard the line perfect and then this tech we're gonna send it over here also in the forest perfect always need to try to exploit those uh terrain uh, bonuses both us and greece messaged me around 3 a.m i don't know either they must be in east asia and they just woke up or they are in the us and they finished work when they texted anyhow they uh, will be either at work right now or they will be sleeping which is good i want greece's sleep and i managed to disband my coalition it was very simple to do on mobile however it was 
pretty difficult to find here on the PC version. I find the PC version actually less practical. Also here in the cities list, you can actually filter your cities on core provinces only on the mobile version, but you can't do this on the desktop version. I'm gonna finish my fourth motorized infantry soon in Ostrava. I'm already producing artillery. I'm upgrading uh, recruitment offices to level two or level three so that I can produce units faster. Recruitment offices in conflict of nations give you both more manpower and train your and produce your units faster. And I also have a level three industry in both my components and rare material city. And I've got level two industry for my supplies. I'm also upgrading my airbase to level two. It costs, a, it costs me a lot of components, 1,300, but I have them now because I've switched from a mechanized units to motorized units. Motorized units cost a little components and artillery don't cost any. So uh, I'm trying out to balance my economy with the units that I produce and the buildings that I build. So far it's working out fine. No clue what to do with uh, electronics and fuel though. I have no clue. I'm just selling my fuel but I've now stopped selling fuel as I have enough money. Anyway, let's see how it goes, right? I'll keep you posted. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.